Hello everyone, this is Alejandro and in this tutorial we will see how to create a loop animation effect like the one that you're seeing here. So as you can see, um, all of those uh, cubes are in sync and they go one after another. So we will be using a new feature of Spline that is called uh, Delay Repeat uh, that basically enable us to control if we want to repeat or not the initial delay of the animation. We will also see how we can create a blinking effect on this character by using in a variation of the new features all right so let's see how we can build something like this all right so the first step is to create our plane so let me just rotate this 90 degrees and let's make it uh, really big because this is going to be just our floor and then let's change the lighting type to be fun so we can receive um, lighting and then let's uh, change the shininess to zero all right so now let's uh, make the background color uh, brighter something like this and then let's change our color here to be also similar color something like that now let's uh, call this uh, floor and let's just uh, lock it so this way it's not going to interrupt us um, i'm going to reset my camera here and now i'm going to create a cube so this is going to be uh, 200 units and it's going to be 100 units in y and then 200 units in z and also let's reset all of the positions here to be 0, 0, 0. So actually uh, for white, let's use something like um, 50 because we do want this to be like this. And then let's use the round corners of 32, something like that. And then um, let's uh, press Command D now. And then we can move this object to this position and then Command D again and we move the object again. So we had now three cubes. So let's select all of them and let's uh, change the material here. So the shininess is zero and maybe, uh, and now the color will be something like, uh, maybe like a pink color. Uh, so an overlay here, maybe darker, something like that. Yeah, that seems better. And now for this one, we can use a uh, purple color. And then for this one, it could also be a purple color, but maybe darker. I think yeah something like like that yeah maybe uh, this one could be just right there all right so now that we have our cubes let's uh, create uh, some steps so for this step I'm going to change the size to be uh, 350 and the position is going to be 350 divided by 2 so it's right there on the floor and then again for this one, let's do the same, 350. Let's copy that and let's put it here, divided by two. And then here, create a state and 350 and also 350 divided by two. All right, so now we have the states and what we can do is that we can create the interaction. So I want to create an event here. This is gonna be a start event. It's gonna be a repeat and cycle. And the duration of this could be something like 0.5 and no delay and um, this is a new uh, parameter that we have here now by default it's going to be none which is ideal for our case before we were not able to create or change this value all right so now i can do the same for this one this is going to be a new event um a start also repeat cycle 0.5 but in this time i do want a delay so it's going to be more like 0.2 and also none and here again finally same repeat cycle then 0 0.5 and this one is going to be twice as this so it's going to be 0 0.4 okay so now i'm just going to reset the state to base so it could look like the way it was before so now if i go to the play mode you can see that we have it so this is how you can create a loop effect on a spline yep it's working pretty fine Maybe one uh, last change here is that I want to change the floor here to be maybe about like 40% and maybe a little brighter, something like that. And then let's also change the background here so we're basically using the same color. So another thing that we can use this type of delay effects is to create uh, blinking effects. So for example, I would like this character to blink so I have two steps here which are kind of like doing a, a squishing of the eyes. Um, so it's getting like a, it's a little smaller. Let's say it's even more smaller like this. So now what I can do is I can create an start event in which uh, we're doing an also a repeat and a cycle. And maybe the duration of this would be something like 
1.1 really really fast and then in here instead of none we can use start so that means that it's going to be repeating the delay on each uh, iteration if we put a delay let's say of one second and then we play a game it takes one second and then you can see there it's blinking so that's how you can create a blinking effect easily on spline using this effect and that is it so that's how you can create the loop animation effects on a spline all right see you in the next time bye bye